G'day YouTube, it's Marty from Music Video Muster. I'm back again and this time I'm going to talk about five music videos that you probably didn't even know existed unless you own the DVDs. Let's go! Hi and welcome back to the channel where we believe that music is better on DVD. If you haven't hit the subscribe button already, could you please go ahead and do that? I would appreciate it so much. For those of you who've already subscribed, thank you, thank you very much. Now, if you're new to the channel, this is the channel where I talk about my DVD collection, basically. And if you are a returning viewer, thanks for returning, first of all, but you will already know that I really love music videos and I really value the DVD as a medium for that entertainment. Now it's true that with most music videos you can see them on YouTube, but there are some certain music videos that for one reason or another never actually made the upload, or if they do exist on YouTube, they haven't been uploaded by the official artist's channel. For this reason, you might not even know that these music videos exist. Well, today I'm going to shine the light on five of my favourite such videos. Alright, let's kick off with number five, and I want to start with Led Zeppelin Communication Breakdown. There are a few videos on YouTube featuring this song, but this particular clip is high quality audio and high quality video, especially considering that it was recorded in 1969, which is well before the days of MTV. The video I'm referring to is available on this DVD. This is a double DVD simply entitled Led Zeppelin. The video appears as an extra on disc one. The first part of disc one is a live set from the Royal Albert Hall in 1970, I want to say. Yeah, 1970. And the first video in the extras section of that disc is this promo for Communication Breakdown. From what I understand, doing a little bit of research online, this video was recorded in Sweden, and I don't know exactly how it was used to promote the band or to promote their music, but it's synced to the original recording, and it's obviously the band miming the song, which perhaps back in 1969 was considered kind of silly by most bands, or funny, because I suppose back then they would promote themselves by doing live appearances and actually playing the songs. It's clear in this video that the band has a bit of a sense of humour, and it also looks like they might be quite self-conscious of the fact that they're miming, but I think it's a really cool music video, and I'm glad to have it collected on this DVD. Four. All right, coming in at number four on my list is a band that's one of my favorite bands of all time and which is on high rotation at my place at the moment. The band is called Porcupine Tree and the song that I'm talking about is Anesthetize. Now Anesthetize is a 17 minutes and 13 second epic of a song. It is the epitome of Porcupine Tree's progressive metal-infused rock sound. And if you go on YouTube and search the song, you can find this video, but it's not been uploaded through the official Porcupine Tree channel. It's obviously been uploaded by a user who has this DVD and has ripped the song and uploaded it to YouTube. So this is a little bit different uh, from the DVDs that I normally talk about. This is a DVD-A or an audio DVD. Now Porcupine Tree is well known for having really high quality music releases, high quality sound releases such as DVD audio and Blu-ray audio. Steve Wilson is a famous mixing engineer as well as the lead singer and guitarist of Porcupine Tree and he really cares about the mix which is why there are many Porcupine Tree albums, if not all of them, 
available in 5.1 surround on DVD audio. Now this is just one such release and it's definitely one of the more expensive ones. I don't know the reason for that, but definitely it is up there in terms of price. You get the whole Fear of a Blank Planet album on DVD audio, plus some cool bonuses. There's a bonus mini album called Nil Recurring, and there's a little video section on this disc as well. There's a short film called Blank Planet, which just shows some commentary about the theme of this record. There is the uncensored edition of the music video for Fear of a Blank Planet. And there's also the anesthetized video, which on here, it says it's the live film. Well, it's certainly not a live recording, and there's not even any live footage of the band in the video, so I'm not sure why they called it the live film on this release, but it is a really well-made and cool video. So if you're a fan of Porcupine Tree, or if you're a fan of high quality, high resolution, surround sound, rock music, then you probably already know about Porcupine Tree's DVD audios and this is a very very cool item to have in your collection if you can afford it. Three. This one is called Blue by A Perfect Circle. Now A Perfect Circle or APC is absolutely one of my favorite bands ever. I love their music and they have some really, really interesting videos, but they're not really consistent with the quality of those videos, in my opinion. Take tracks from the Murder Noms album, such as Three Libras or Judith. These are high budget music videos, which are just amazing. The storytelling on Three Libras is second to none, and the cinematics on Judith is just the perfect rock video, in my opinion. But with some of the music videos that were released later in APC's career, the quality kind of drops off a little bit, in my opinion, and it doesn't quite scratch that itch of having a really high quality video to match the caliber of the song. And this is definitely the case with Blue. I don't think it is actually an official music video for the track, but it kind of is. Let me explain. This video was not commissioned by the band. It was the winner of a competition that the band set up. Most of that information is now lost and I can't find it on the internet, but there was a competition to, I think, promote the album 13th Step where the band said, okay, all of you fans out there, we've got a really cool prize pack. If you can make the best music video to go with this track, Blue. And one of the main benefits of winning this competition was that your video would be featured on the A-Motion DVD. This is a CD plus DVD package and it's got all of A Perfect Circle's music videos up to a certain point in time. The video itself is very disturbing. The concept is that there's a widow and she really can't let go of her lover who's died. So she actually digs him up and sits him at the dining table and carries out this fantasy, I guess, that he's still alive. Uh, it's very strange and the quality of the production is really low. Overall, I think the concept is quite disgusting and I wonder how it won first prize, especially considering that some of the other runner-up entries, which are also featured on this DVD, have some really cool animation. I think it might be because the video concept could be interpreted as a statement on addiction, which was one of the overall themes of the 13th Step album. The woman's connection to her dead lover is so strong that 
it defies all logic and it makes her do some really insane things. And I guess the same could be said for extreme addiction to substances or to anything. So maybe that's the reason why it's the winner. Included on this DVD there are also the three runner-up video entries, so it's worth checking out. <coughs> Alright, coming in at number two, we've got Rob Zombie. The video is Meet the Creeper. Uh, not that kind of creeper. Hmm, closer, but still no. And the album is Hellbilly Deluxe. This is the deluxe edition. Now I had the CD of Hellbilly Deluxe when it first came out and at the time there was a lot of hype around it. It was Rob Zombie's first solo record after leaving White Zombie and I'm pretty sure it came out in 1998. This version, the deluxe edition, came out in 2005 and it's just a little bit different. So it's a gatefold which opens up four panels and then we've got the CD obviously here and this is a bonus DVD which is really special because it has every single track from the album with a music video directed by Rob Zombie. I've heard some people on the internet refer to this kind of release as a video album or a visual album and they're kind of rare so I think that it's really great that there is a visual album of Rob Zombie's CD. With the original release of the album there were already some music videos that were produced but then some years later when Rob Zombie decided to release this deluxe edition, he went ahead and made videos for the remaining songs and put them all together onto one disc. Now many of the songs that he made videos for are just filler tracks, but I really like the Meet the Creeper video. It's reminiscent of the psychedelic 60s and it also looks like a b-grade horror movie. So it's a combination of these two styles which is a very cool aesthetic in my opinion. Am I a huge fan of Rob Zombie? No, not really. But I do think that it's really cool that he's made a video for every single song every track on this album and I'm very glad to have this one in my collection. One. Okay so my number one favorite music video which you probably never heard of is Radiohead, Where I End and You Begin. Yuck, no that's not what I meant. Now this music video is featured on this DVD which is a fairly recent acquisition for me. This one is called The Most Gigantic Lying Mouth of All Time. So you can see from the artwork that it's reminiscent of the Hail to the Thief album and it also contains some music from the Amnesiac album also. Now this DVD makes me really happy and really sad at the same time. Happy because it contains a lot of great music from the band which is not captured anywhere else on their other video releases. But the reason why it sometimes makes me sad is because most of the music videos on here are just little snippets and you'll just start getting into the song and then it will finish. So I just wish that they could have included more full-length music videos on this disc. Now I'm pretty sure that every single video on the DVD, and there are 24 short films altogether, I'm pretty sure they were all made by fans and by people not necessarily connected to the band. Originally the concept for this DVD was to create four episodes which could be real TV episodes aired on TV or on Radiohead television which I think in the end was a little section on Radiohead's website back in the day. But anyway, fast forward a few decades and we have the collection available on DVD 
I think it is a little bit rare. It's out of print, so get your hands on a copy if you can. So back to the video where I end and you begin. It seems like a fairly low budget video as are most of the videos on this DVD, but it is a full length video and it does include some really nice stop animation compared to some of the other full length videos of which there are not many. This one seems to be generally a better quality. And I just really love that there is an official visual accompaniment to this awesome song. So altogether there are 24 short videos which are all grouped into four episodes as well as some really avant-garde interviews which you'll see if you ever look at this DVD. There are some interviews with Tom York, there are some interviews with Ed O'Brien, but they're not normal interviews, they're edited in a really strange, bizarre kind of way. You'll see what I mean when you look at this DVD for yourself. This particular DVD gets mixed reviews that I've seen on places like Amazon. Some people love it and some people think it's rubbish. Me personally, I love it because I am a huge fan of Radiohead and I'm a DVD collector. So if you are also a collector, then you must have this item on your shelf. And if you're a Radiohead fan, this is a great addition to your collection. All right guys, so that's it. Thank you for watching another one of my videos. Please remember to like and subscribe and comment in the comments section. Until next time, I'd like you to watch some of your music videos because music is better on DVD. See you next time.